in number 33. Initial for both of those, I think they also give us the volume actually. The volume is 2.5 liters. Volume is 2.5 liters. Uh, so it says these two are the initial amounts. What are they saying about chlorine? Zero. It's zero. If they don't give it to you, we're assuming it's zero. Remember, I like to do these in uh, molarity. So I immediately divide these by 2.5 liters. You can divide zero by 2.5, but it's not going to get you anywhere. It's still zero. Okay. So one thing, we're going to make a table here, like that. Uh, one thing we do before we go on to the table, we need to think about Q. Remember Q, K is defined by the equilibrium concentrations, but Q is defined by the initial concentrations of products divided by reactants. Q in this situation is equal to what? Just do it in your head, you won't need a calculator. So if I take products over reactants, it has to be zero. If anything here is zero, Q's got to be zero. So, so Q is really tiny, so tiny it's zero. It has to shift which way to get to this number? So does it need more reactants or more products? Yeah. It needs more products to get to a bigger number. Is that okay? And then there's another way you could say it. There's zero here. It always shifts towards the zero. You cannot have a zero at equilibrium. Impossible. So it must shift this way to the right. Towards the products, or another way to say it, towards the zero. If there's ever a zero, it goes towards that direction. So in this case, the zero is in the products, so it goes towards the products. So now I have to know that before I can do the C column. C meaning change. What changes? Q determines this category. It changes towards the right. So I don't know how much of each is made. I'll just call it X. X and X. But I know that we make more products. So these two are positive. We're gaining products. We're losing reactants. Okay? All right, that's the change line. So remember, I is given. C is the change line, has to do with Q. E is the sum of I and C. That's it. You just add up the I and the C rows. So this number, whatever it is, 0 0.55 divided by 2.5 minus X. It's the first one. Second one, 0 0.55 divided by 2.5 plus x. And the last one, 0 plus x, which is just x. Okay? So this is called my equilibrium table. Now, what I do is I write Kc. Once I finish my equilibrium table, I go straight to K. K is known. It's 3.8 times 10 to the minus 2. And now, I also know the equilibrium expression, which is uh, products PCl3 times Cl2 over reactants. And remember, the brackets describe concentration. So when I see a bracket of PCl5, that means concentration of PCl5. Well, I actually know all these values of equilibrium. They are these numbers right here. That's where your ice table is. The E line, E, goes straight into there. So let me plug in for E. It's uh, PCL3, which is 0 0.55. You can find that if you had a calculator. Divide by 2.5. Plus X times X over the reactant, 0 0.55 over 2.5 minus X. So all I'm doing is plugging in the E line to each of those values. You'll see there's only one unknown. That's X. Okay? The only unknown is X. It represents the molarity. Uh, what 
mathematical knowledge would you need to solve for this? Yeah, and painfully the quadratic formula. Mm -hmm. 